Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before we get started, I'm going to say our customary blessing. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Lord our God, sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths and in the mouths of all your people, Israel. May we and our offspring and the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and say your for Torah. Your Torah, for the sake of fulfilling your desire, blessed are you, Lord, who teaches Torah to his people Israel. Blessed are you, Lord, o our God, King of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Lord, giver of the Torah. May the Lord bless you and keep watch over you. May the Lord be make his presence who lighten you may be kind to you. May the Lord bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today's portion is Genesis 44 18 through 47 27 and this week's read is I cannot pronounce that but it means he drew near yeah that's just silly but I know I'm a budget so I'm not gonna try then Judah went up to him and said oh my lord please let your servant speak a word in my Lord's ears, and let not your anger burn against your servant, for you are like Pharaoh himself. My Lord asked his servant, saying, Have you a father or a brother? And we said to the Lord, We have a father, an old man, and a young brother, the child of his old age. His brother is dead, and he alone is left of his mother's children, and his father loves him. Then you said to your servants, Bring him down to me, that I may set my eyes on him. We said to my Lord, The boy cannot leave his father, for if he should leave his father, his father would die. Then you said to your servants, Unless your youngest brother comes down with you, you shall not see my face again. When we went back to your servant, my father, we told him the words of my Lord. And when our father said, Go ahead, buy us a little food, we said, We cannot go down. If our youngest brother goes with us, then we will go down. For we cannot see the man's face unless our youngest brother is with us. Then your servant, my father, said to us, You know that my wife bore me two sons. One left me, and I said, Surely he has been torn to pieces, and I have never seen him since. If you take this one also from me, and harm happens to him, you will bring me down, bring my gray hairs An evil to Sheol. Now therefore, as soon as I come to your servant, my father, and the boy is not with us, then as his life is bound up in the boy's life, as soon as he sees that the boy is not with us, he will die. And your servants will bring down the gray hairs of, of your servant, our father, with sorrow to Sheol. For your servant became a pledge of safety for the boy to my father, saying, If I do not bring him back to you, then I shall bear the blame before my father all my life. Now therefore, please let your servant remain instead of the boy as a servant to my lord, and let the boy go back with his brothers. For how can I go back to my father if the boy is not with me? I fear to see the evil that would find my father. Then Joseph could not control himself before all those who stood before him. He cried, to make everyone go out from me. So no one stayed with him. Then Joseph made himself known to his brothers. And he wept aloud so that the Egyptians heard it. And the household of Pharaoh heard it. And Joseph said to his brothers, I am Joseph. Is my father still alive? And his brothers could not answer him, for they were dismayed at his presence. So Joseph said to his brothers, Come near to me, please. And they came near, and he said, I am your brother Joseph, whom you sold into Egypt, and now do not be distressed or angry with yourselves, because you sold me here. For Elohim sent me before you to preserve life. For the famine has been in the land for these two years, and there are yet five years, in which there will be neither plowing nor harvest. And Elohim sent me before you to preserve you, to preserve for you a remnant on earth and to keep alive for you many survivors. So it was not you who sent me here, but Elohim. He has made me a father to Pharaoh, and lord of all his house, and ruler over all the land of Egypt. 
Hurry and go up to my father and say to him, Thus says your son Joseph, Elohim has made me a lord in all of Egypt. Come down to me. Do not tarry. You shall dwell in the land of Goshen, and you shall be near me. You and your children and your children's children and your flocks and your herds and all that you have, there I will provide for you. For there are yet five years of famine to come, so that you and your household and all that you have do not come to poverty. And now your eyes see, and the eyes of my brother Benjamin see, that it is my mouth that speaks to you. You must tell my father of all my honor in Egypt, and of all that you have seen. Hurry, and bring my father down here. Then he fell upon his brother Benjamin's neck and wept. And Benjamin wept upon his neck, and he kissed all his brothers and wept upon them. After that, his brothers talked to him, with him. When the report was heard of Pharaoh's house, Joseph's brothers have come. It pleased Pharaoh and his servants, and Pharaoh said to Joseph, Say to your brothers, do, do this, load your beasts and go back to the land of Canaan, and take your father and your households and come to me, and I will give you the best of the land of Egypt, and you shall eat the fat of the land. And you, Joseph, are commanded to say, Do this, take wagons from the land of Egypt for your little ones and for your wives, and bring your father and come. Have no concern for your goods, for the best of all the land of Egypt is yours. The sons of Israel did so, and Joseph gave them wagons according to the command of Pharaoh, and gave them provisions for the journey. To each and all of them he gave a change of clothes, but to Benjamin he gave three hundred shekels of silver and five changes of clothes. And to his father he sent as follows, ten donkeys loaded with good things of Egypt, and ten female donkeys loaded with grain, bread and provisions for his father on the journey and he sent away then he sent his brothers away and they as they departed he said to them do not quarrel on the way so they went out of Egypt and came to the land of Canaan to their father Jacob and they told them Joseph is still alive and he is ruler over all the land of Egypt and his heart became numb for he did not believe them but when they told him all the words of Joseph which he had said to them and when he saw the wagons that Joseph had sent to carry him, the spirit of their father Jacob revived. And Israel said, It is enough. Joseph, my son, is still alive. I will go and see him before I die. So Israel took his journey with all that he had and came to Beersheba and offered sacrifices to Elohim on his father, to Elohim of his father Isaac. And Elohim spoke to Israel in visions of the night and said, Jacob, Jacob. And he said, Here I am. Then he said, I am Elohim, the Elohim of your father. Do not be afraid to go down to Egypt, for there will, there I will make you into a great nation. I myself will go down with you to Egypt, and I will also bring you up again. And Joseph's hand shall cover your eyes, shall close your eyes. Yeah. And then Jacob set out from Beersheba, the sons of Israel, and carried Jacob their father, their little ones and their wives in the wagons that Pharaoh had sent to carry him. They also took their livestock, their goods, which they had gained in the land of Canaan, and came into Egypt. Jacob and all his offspring with him, his sons and his son's sons with him, his daughter and his son's daughters, and his offspring he brought with him into Egypt. Now these are the names of the descendant of Israel who came into Egypt, Jacob and his sons Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, and the son of Reuben, Hanak, Pelu, Hezron, and Kamri. The sons of Simeon, Jimuel, Jamin, Ohad, Joshin, Zohar, Shal, the son of the Canaanite woman, the sons of Levi, Gershon, Kahath, um, Merari, the son of Judah, Er, Onan, Shalaz, Perez, Zerah. But Er and Onan died in the land of Canaan. And the sons of Perez were Hezron and Humul. The sons of Issachar, Tula, Puvul, Yab, and Shimron. The sons of Zebulun, Zered, Elon, Jahlil. These are the sons of Leah, who were born to Jacob in Padan Aram. Together with his daughter Dinah, altogether his sons and daughters numbered thirty-three. 
the sons of Gad, Ziphon, Hagi, Shuni, Esbon, Iri, Arodi, and Areli. The sons of Asher, Imna, Ishva, Ishvi, Verai, with Sarah their sister. And the sons of Barai, Heber, and Mashkil. These are the sons of Zilpha who Laban gave to Leah his daughter, and these she bore to Jacob, sixteen persons. The sons of Rachel, Jacob's wife, Joseph and Benjamin, and to Joseph in the land of Egypt were born Manasseh and Ephraim, who Asenath, the daughter of Potiphar, the priest of On, bore to him. The sons of Benjamin, Bela, Bashar, Ashbel, Gera, Naaman, Ehi, Rosh, Hupin, Hupin, and Ard. These are the sons of Rachel, who were born to Jacob, fourteen persons in all. The son of Dan, Hushin. The sons of Naphtali, Jez Jazil, Guni, Jezer, Shalem. And these are the sons of Belha, who, whom Laban gave to Rachel, his daughter. And these she bore to Jacob, seven persons in all. All the persons belonging to Jacob who came into Egypt, who were his own descendants, not including Jacob's sons' wives, were sixty-six persons in all. And the son of Joseph, who were born to him in Egypt, were two. All the persons of the house of Jacob who came into Egypt were seventy. He had sent Judah ahead of him to Joseph to show the way before him in Goshen. And then he came to the land of Goshen. Then Joseph prepared his chariot and went up to meet Israel, his father, in Goshen. He presented himself to him and fell on his neck and wept on his neck for a good while. And Israel said to Joseph, Now lest me die, since I have seen your face and know that you are still alive. Joseph said to his brothers and to his father's household, I will go up and tell Pharaoh and will stay with him. My brothers and my father's household, who are in the land of Canaan, have come to me. And the men are shepherds, for they have been keepers of livestock, and they have brought their flocks and their herds and all that they have. When Pharaoh calls you and says, What is your occupation? You shall say your servants have been keepers of livestock from your youth even until now. Both we and our fathers, in order that we may dwell in the land of Goshen, for every shepherd is an abomination to the Egyptian. So Joseph went in and told Pharaoh, My father and my brothers, with their flocks and herds and all that they possess have come into the land of Canaan. Now they are now in the land of Goshen. And from among his brothers he took five men and presented them to Pharaoh. Pharaoh said to his brothers, What is your occupation? And I said to Pharaoh, Your servants are shepherds, as our fathers were. And they said to Pharaoh, We have come to sojourn in the land, for there is no pasture for your servants. Flocks for the famine is severe in the land of Canaan. And now, please let your servants dwell in the land of Goshen. Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, your father and your brothers have come to you. The land of Egypt is before you. Settle your father and your brothers in the best of the land. Let them settle in the land of Goshen. And if you know any able man among you, put them in charge of my livestock. Then Joseph brought in Jacob his father and stood, bef stood him before Pharaoh. And Jacob blessed Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said to Jacob, How many are the days of the years of your life? And Jacob said to Pharaoh, The days... Of the years of my sojourning are a hundred and thirty years, for evil, few in evil, have been the days of the years of my life, and they have not attained to the days of the years of my life, of the life of my fathers, in the days of their sojourning. And Jacob blessed Pharaoh, and went out from the presence of Pharaoh. Then Joseph settled his father and his brothers, and gave them possessions in the land of Egypt, in the best of the land, in the land of Ramesses. As Pharaoh had commanded, and Joseph provided his father, his brothers, and all his father's household with food, according to the number of their descendants, uh, dependents. There was no food in all the land, for the famine was very severe, so that the land of Egypt and the land of Canaan languished by reason of the famine. And Joseph gathered up all the money that was found in the land of Egypt and in the land of Canaan, in exchange for the grain that they had brought, and Joseph brought the, many, the, the money in the Pharaoh's house. And when the money was all spent in the land of Egypt and in the land of Canaan, all the Egyptians came to Joseph and said, Give us food. Why should we die before your eyes? For our money is gone. And Joseph answered, Give your livestock, and I'll give you food in exchange for your, for your livestock.
if your money is gone. So they brought their livestock to, to Joseph, and Joseph gave food in exchange for their horses, the flocks, and the herds, and the donkeys. He supplied them with food in exchange for all their livestock that year. And that, and when that year ended, they came to him the following year and said to him, We will not hide from my Lord that all of our money is spent. The herds of our livestock are my Lord's. There is nothing left in the sight of my Lord but our bodies and our land. Why should we die before your eyes? Both we and our land. Buy us in our land for food. And we will... And we with our land will be servants of Pharaoh, and give us seed that we may live and not die, and that the land may not be desolate. So Joseph brought all, bought all the land of Egypt for Pharaoh. For all the Egyptians sold their fields because the famine was severe on them. The land became Pharaoh's. As for the people, he made servants of them, from one end of Egypt to the other. Only the land of the priests he did not buy. For the priests had a fixed allowance from Pharaoh and lived on the allowance that Pharaoh gave them. Therefore they did not sell their land. Then Joseph said to the people, Behold, I have this day bought you and your land for Pharaoh. Now here is seed for you, and you shall sow the land. And at the harvest you shall give a fifth to Pharaoh, and four fifths shall be yours. As seed for the field, and as food for yourselves, and for the household, and as food for your little ones. And they said, You have saved our lives. May it please my Lord, we will be servants to Pharaoh. So Joseph made a statute concerning the land of Egypt, and it stands to this day, that Pharaoh should have a fifth. The land of the priests alone did not become Pharaoh's. Thus Israel settled in the land of Egypt, in the land of Goshen, and they gained possessions in it, and were fruitful, and multiplied greatly. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who gave us the Torah of truth, and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, O Lord, giver of the Torah.